Okay, you guys, it is the morning time and I completed my hair. I got some jewels in my hair, as you guys see. I really love it. It came out really cute. And I'm kind of upset because um, I was planning on um, um, doing a video for my makeup and I thought I was recording. Well, I, I, well, I thought I was recording, but I was not. So, I didn't get to. But I tell you what, if you guys comment down, uh, comment in the video, and if you guys want, I can do this look for you guys. Um, if you comment below, I'm just so sorry. I was just as soon as I got done with my eye makeup. Oh my gosh, I was like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> I was like, how did this happen? I was kind of crushed. I was crushed because I didn't know how, like, yeah. But it's super cute. Like you can wear it in so many ways. You can have it up in a ponytail if you like. I'm so sad I didn't get to do my makeup. And this was a simple look, you guys. It did not require like much. And I did my brows and I used the, um, the Anastasia, I'm sorry. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow dip and I really love it. When I first got it, I wasn't a big fan. I'm like, mm, I don't know. But it did my uh, my eyebrows some justice. So, I like it. Y'all let me know if y'all like this style. I wish I would've did a makeup tutorial on this look, but if you want me to do a makeup on, a tutorial on this look, uh, just comment down below and I will do that for you guys. Cause you guys rock. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm really loving this. Like, this hairstyle, oh, before I go, this hairstyle. Before I go, before you watch the video, uh, this hairstyle, I started at 5.13 and I got done like at, uh, no, sorry, at 5.07 and I got done at uh, 11.13. And that, that's with washing my hair, blow drying my hair, putting uh, the rubber bands in my hair, and then twisting my hair. So from 5.07 to 11.13, how many, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, that's six hours, six hours. Damn, I'm fast. Six hours, you guys. Ooh. So it took me like six hours. So th this is my first time doing a passion twist. These are passion twists, by the way. This is my first time doing a passion twist. And um, at first it was a struggle because I was twisting the wrong way, but then I figured it out, so it worked out. But make sure you guys watch the video. Do not leave. Watch the video. I think you guys will really love it. Um, and uh, make sure you subscribe. And uh, just let me know any other type of looks you want me to do. They could be hair looks. I'll try to attempt them my best way I can. <laughs> uh, and makeup looks. So and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Share, you guys. Share to your auntie, your uncle, your mama, your cousin. Just share. When you share, you help and you support me. Remember that. And I support you by doing these videos. Okay, you guys. So I had just got done washing my hair and I'm fairly happy. Hey, hey. <laughs> And uh, yeah, this is how my hair look when it's washed. Uh, I'm gonna be using the Revlon blower, hair blower brush on my hair. You guys, this blow dryer brush is fairly easy. Like I'm a type of person where I struggle blow drying my hair and this brush really works really well. So I believe I got it from Ulta for like about $39 and I've been using it ever since. So it works. I like it. I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh, I'm just taking some black hair holders ties and I'm just tying my hair, sectioning my hair off. Uh, now, I'm only going to blow dry. Uh, yeah, hello. <laughs> I'm only going to blow dry one section of my hair just to save time. So you guys are going to see that. Uh, right now, I'm just applying that heat on my hair to stretch my hair a little bit. And I like to start at the ends of my hair and work my way up. And as you guys will see, that's what I'm doing. And over repeated brushes and blow dried, uh, it will start to straighten. So I'm going to stop rambling and I'm just going to have you guys watch. And I'll be back with the completed blow out look or blown out dry, blow dry look. <laughs> This is the completed look of me blowing, uh, blow drying my hair. So I'm going to start putting rubber bands in my hair because we are going to be doing passion twist. And this is the hair that I got. So I got one color mixture and this is by Glance Brand 
and it's Passion Twist and it's in the shade 2 or T27. So I have one pack of this one and then I have three packs of the in the shade 1. So as you can see, one pack and three packs. And so this is my hair. This is what I'm working with. I guess I can show you guys. Well, I don't want to make this video any longer, but we'll be back. We'll, we'll be back, okay? Just, uh, yeah, we'll be back, all right. Okay, you guys, so off camera, I went on ahead and I did two sections in the back, and this is kind of like the size that I'm going for. Uh, I did not want to go really tiny because I did not want to be all night with these passion twists. And besides, this was my first time attempting to do individual passion twists. So I think I did fairly good for this, uh, you know, for my parts and stuff because I'm not really great with parting. You guys, I'm not even really like good with hair. I'm not even going to front. But, you know, I'm learning to manage and work with mine. Okay. So here you see the full head completed and oh my gosh, like it's, it looks like a lot. It looks full. I mean, I have a lot of, uh, rubber bands and like rubber band pieces, you know? Uh, but whoo, boy, did that take a while. I know everything took about six hours, maybe six and a half hours, but yeah, everything took about that long. Um, but I'm so happy this part is over. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> now you see me uh, actually doing the passion twist. I think I'm gonna do a couple uh, just so you can get an idea of how I'm doing it. You literally just take your own real hair and you split it in two and then you combine one strand of your hair with one strand of the passion twist and the other strand of your hair with the other strand of your passion twist. So basically you open up the passion twist so you can have two pieces and then you add your two piece of your real hair and you twist. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> You'll see me uh, do it by the way. Okay, so I'm loving this you guys. I'm almost really done. Um, I got a little bit more to go. So let's just, uh, continue to do more so here you see me combing my hair out just to make sure I don't have any kinks I'm going to be going in with that beeswax and that gorilla snot those does wonder to keep your hair like slick so it doesn't pop out the, pa the passion twist and so you see me break my hair up into two then I put the passion twist in the middle then I break the passion twist up into two and I take one side of my real hair and the other side of my real hair and then I just twist it in the same direction of the twist. Now, init initially when I started, uh, I was going the opposite way of the twist so it, it was messing up and it will, the twist, the passion twist will let you know that you're going the wrong way because it's not gonna look right. So I was a little scared about that uh, but after a while I got the hang of it as you see um and again my passion twists are a little thicker than some of the girls that i watch and seen on youtube uh more power to them with them small ones but your girl ain't got that much time okay i just want a cute passion twist look where i can wear multiple styles i might actually do how to style uh these passion twists too so uh but more power to them that do them thin uh maybe one day y'all will encourage me to go that that thin <laughs> but i just don't have the time and a lot of them too have a lot of hair so the more hair you got yeah it's gonna take longer uh so here you go see me tying uh i just showed you guys how to i guess um loop it <laughs> do the crochet part and so you see me again splitting my hair putting product on my hair uh just to straighten my hair down okay you see that boom and then here I go opening up that passion twist and combining it with my own hair and then I'm just twisting it. And you guys, it's really that simple. It is not a lot of work. Uh, 
anybody can do it. Trust me, I'm not a hair person. At least I thought that I wasn't. Uh, but, you know, when you budgeting and you trying to save your coins and you just trying to live and make it, you going to understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I'm about to show you guys what it actually looks like in all. All right. So this is the finish. Look, I'm really digging them. Like. They had to grow on me because I'm I'm a short hair do girl. So like I really don't like long, but I'm making it work. Uh I love short hairstyles or short braided twists or whatever you want to call them. So I, I'm trying to learn to love them. But it did come out cute for my first time. I think I did a darn good job. Anywho, I'm going in with this uh this mousse. What is that? Moroccan oil? Yeah. And I'm applying that in my hair just to lay down any fizz and make sure everything stays in place because I don't want nothing to unravel. And I'm just smushing it as you can see. I'm smushing in that mousse. I'm smushing in that product just so it has a nice hold. Y'all, I'll be making some weird facial expressions. Excuse me. So then I'm going in with these little uh, hair jewel clips I got from my local beauty supply store. And I'm just going to add a few in my hair just to give it some taste and flavor. Because you know I got to have some taste and flavor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I mean, I'm telling you, them jewels, they're, they, they're magic. I mean, you know. They do justice for a lot of folks. And in my case, they working for your girl. <laughs> Cause uh yeah, you just you just need some type of jewels, okay? I mean you could go without jewels, but I mean that's your own preference. But I had to ask some in mine. I am I I thought I would like the yarn. I'm not really big on yarn, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah. 